When you see sine of an angle, it is the ratio of how much this triangle goes up compared to how much total length of the hypotenuse of the triangle there is. And I told you in the last lesson that we called this the chop factor for y. It is literally a decimal that comes out. It's a number less than one. When you take y and divide by r, you get a number less than one. And it tells you in a number form how much of this triangle is going up in the y direction compared to the total length of the triangle, which is the hypotenuse. If the chop factor for y is very big, then that means that this y, is this triangle is really tall and most of the triangle is going up. If you have a large chop factor in the x direction, it means that most of the triangle is actually going along the x direction. But sine basically tells you how much of the triangle is going in the vertical direction. And if, it, if you have a, a, a very small chop factor in the y direction, it means that that's not the case. And the similar thing for here. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.